Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I would like to talk about this beautiful 8200 constant f4 zoom lens from Contact Zeiss. The lens has 9 aperture blades so the bokeh is gonna be pretty smooth even if you close down the aperture that you can close up to f22 and the lens has also nice push-pull zoom feature and that it's pretty handy if you wanna also track your subject because you can both control the focus and the zoom. I don't know why nobody talks about this lens. In Italian forums everyone is recommending this lens as the only vintage solution for zoom lenses that they go up to 200 millimeters. Everyone is saying that this lens is pretty beautiful. I was a little bit skeptical because I read that the contact size lineup wasn't really sharp above 100 millimeters. All the lenses uh, over that range weren't that great. But uh, yeah, one day while uh, diving in eBay, I found this lens for around 130 euros. So I said to myself, okay, let's give a try. In the worst case, I can resell it. And after playing a little bit with this lens, I'm not gonna sell it, guys. This lens is pretty good. For this small amount of money, I got a professional graded lens that gives uh, true emotions. In reality, the price range of this lens is going from 100 bucks to 400, 450 bucks. So if you have a little bit of passion, you can still get it for cheap price. I don't know for how long, maybe after this video, people are gonna buy this lens, I'm not sure. But uh, if you can get this lens and maybe just get a prime lens to pair it with, I think a good combination will be a 25 mm f2.8 or even better the 35 f2.8 because I found that the color reproduction and the contrast are really similar between these two lenses. Not everything is perfect about this lens. Uh, I tried to use it also in an APS-C crop body with a 24 megapixel, my trusted Sony A6300 and the results weren't that great because this lens produce a lot of chromatic aberration if you use a high density sensor. So for full frame, if you're thinking to use it with a 47 megapixel sensor, you're probably not gonna be happy with the rendition of the lens because you probably have to close down the aperture to f8 to get decent results without crazy amount of chromatic aberrations. So I would recommend to use it with just a 24 megapixel full frame sensor camera or with your contacts film camera that was designed to work with. What I love the most about this lens is how this lens uh, reproduces the transition between the focus points to the defocused areas. So from point A to point B we are not gonna have a really harsh transition of defocused areas but it's gonna be really smooth and it's gonna increase the image quality of our picture and giving more a three-dimensional feeling without having a harsh bokeh or defocused areas and I also love how these lens render colors because they are pretty outstanding and uh, I'm really happy with the rendition of this lens. Last week I went in Amsterdam to play with this lens. I decided to do some street photography with uh, 200 millimeters because uh, yeah, there were many ice skaters in the canals and I didn't feel really comfortable to go with some thousand of euro on a frozen canal walking on top of it while I was seeing on Instagram many people falling uh, inside of the water. So I decided to bring with me the 200 millimeters to stay in a safe spot while taking pretty nice uh, pictures. Never thought 
If you also like vintage lenses talks, uh, stick around because I really like to make this type of videos. I have a lot of lenses that I want to talk about, but it takes quite a bit of time to make the videos for these lenses. So stick around and I hope I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching guys. Ciao! Ah, ah, vedi. Mi prendi in giro, mi prendi. Yeah. Yeah. I have to be close.